Hey everybody, Joe from Complete Carnivore here. Got a nice big box here. Let's see what's inside. If you want me to spoil it for you, it's a new pizza oven. Let's open it and we'll see what kind it is. I'll tell you some information about it, give you my first impressions. Um, right now I have uh, an Unicoda 16. This one here needs to be cleaned. It's kind of dirty, uh, but uh, I use that for pizzas. Love it. It makes pizzas quickly, about a minute or two. It gets about 900 degrees. You can put a 16 inch pizza in there. I'm not sure if you can see in there, but it has like an L-shaped um, heating element. So it gets two sides of the pizza at once. Most other pizza ovens, uh, kind of the backyard gas powered pizza ovens, even wood fired, you get heat from only the back. So right here, what we have is the Solo Stove Pie Pizza Oven. Um, it's got some covers. This is a used unit. They sent it to me to try out, uh, to check out. i um, guessing that's an ash pan of some sort. We've got a pizza cutter. we got an infrared thermometer. Um, like I said, this is a used one. It's not brand new. At least I don't think it is. Maybe it is. Um, this is the gas burner attachment. It, it uh, can also be wood, wood fired. I've never used a uh, backyard pizza oven like this, a portable one, wood fired. Um, I always use the gas, gas gets a little bit hotter, a little bit easier to use. Don't have to worry about ash buildup in the pan, um, anything like that. Um, at eight, 900 degrees, the temperatures they burn, you don't really get any smoke flavor from the uh, wood anyway. So I don't think there's any advantage to using wood over gas in this instance. Almost everything else I have, charcoal, wood burning, um, all the other grills I have uh, over there, a bunch of Weber's and PK grills, Kudu, all those, uh, but this is a gas. So comes with a gas burner. Uh, instructions, we got FedEx labels. Looks like there's a couple pizza peels. What do we got? There's a metal peel. It's good for turning the pizzas. Usually use a wood peel to launch. I'm not sure if there's one of those in here, but let's get this out of the box. There we go. A couple other pieces in here. All right, let's get this out of the way and get this pizza oven up. I don't know what that is. I guess we'll find out. Uh, I have never used one of these pizza ovens. Oh, here's a, a turning peel. Uh, those are nice to just get under like half the pizza or something so you can turn it easily. Again, heat's only coming from the back, so uh, you get some hot spots in it. Um, one thing that this is supposed to have, that the solo stove is supposed to do, is have more convection, convective heat than like the uni. In the uni, there's really no airflow. Air doesn't come in the back or anything. Uh, in this one, supposedly the air comes in from uh, like the bottom front and the back. It'll come up and circulate around. Uh, there's a like a the top is kind of dome shaped. But uh, let's get this out of the packaging. Try to save the packaging too. And let's see what this looks like. Well, there it is. That might be the back. Is that the back? Yeah. That's the back. This is the front. Let's put these stones in and see what it looks like. So, there it is. Uh, looks nice. I mean, it's solidly built. It's all stainless steel, so it's not gonna rust. You can kinda, you could leave it out. I would suggest covering it or putting it away. Um, it's light enough, you can just pick it up, move it to your shed or garage, wherever. Um, where's that burner? Where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. Let's see about putting this burner on. Again, I haven't read any of the instructions. I don't know much of the particulars. I do know they recommend kind of only building 12 inch pizzas on this. Uh, the Coda 16 can take a 16 inch pizza. I usually do about 14 inch. Um, it's about a 300 gram dough ball is what I use. So I'd probably drop it down about 250 grams for this, which is fine. Uh, if you're doing pizzas like this, you're generally cooking multiple pizzas. So you're not just cooking one, but uh, kind of the first impression out of the box, it's, sol it's a solid unit. 
nothing wrong with it. Let's see if I can get this gas burner hooked up easily. Hopefully I don't need to read instructions. But let's get it out of the pack. Other than that, I'm pretty sure this is a... Is that a door that goes in the front? This might be something that goes on the back. I don't know. We'll see. Here we go. There's the gas burner. Looks like there's probably a couple screws that need to go in here to hold this on. I don't know where those are. They might be in the pack somewhere here. Again, this is a used unit. It's not a brand new one, so it might be missing a couple little pieces. I'm sure it'll function fine without the screws. Or maybe this is them right here. Yeah, I think this is them. They just have a nice little holding spot here. I don't think there's anything in there that's gonna fall apart if I take them out. Yeah, I think that's just some holding spots for the screws. That's kind of handy. Let's get it lined up. Now, one thing I, I with it with the Coda, I can put it on a wood table, even a plastic table, and it's not so hot underneath that it's going to melt anything or burn anything. I don't know about this if it gets hot. I guess we'll find out. If I melt the table, I melt the table. I've done worse, but I just want to fire it up really quick. I'm not going to get it all the way heated up. Usually it takes 20 to 30 minutes to get these fully heated up and ready to go. You get the stone nice and hot. But let's go around to this side and we'll get this screwed on. Again, there's all you can also burn wood in this. I'm assuming that's what this is for. They say you can get about three hours of, of wood burning before you get too much ash. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if this, I'm not sure if this just kind of sits back there or what, maybe not. I'll have to read the instructions on the wood burning part. Maybe I want to try something like, maybe I want to test it out and see if I like gas or, or wood better, but I'm going to go get a, uh, propane tank. Let's light this up. Got a tank over here by my Blackstone. Just take standard propane, nothing fancy. You don't need any weird gas connections or anything. This tank might be a little bit empty, so um, I guess we'll see. All right, let's see what we need to do here. There we go, it's lit. So here you go, I'll, I'll put this like this so you can see, but uh, yeah, it's got the heating element in the back there. It's got a little deflector. Again, I don't know if you can see up on the top, it's kind of domed. So theoretically, you're gonna get convection with air pulling in to this vent here. And there's also one in the back. And theoretically, it'll go through there, come up, around, and over the top, and out the front. So, um, I don't know if that's gonna cook a pizza better or not. When I cook pizzas in my Coda, I generally find the tops done before the bottom. So I don't really care too much about the heat up top. I want heat on the stone. I want the stone to get as hot as possible. Again, it takes 20, 30 minutes uh, for the stone to heat up. So I'm not gonna cook a pizza right now. I don't have any dough ready. Uh, I'm gonna make some tonight. In a couple days, it'll be good to go. But this is the Solo Stove Pie. Without the gas attachment, I believe it's $470. With the gas attachment, it's $645. Uh, they're on sale right now, but they, Honestly, they're usually always on sale. Uh, it only came out a couple months ago. There's still a couple weeks delayed on shipping. I think July 5th. I'm filming this middle of June, and middle towards the end of June. And uh, so July 5th is when they're shipping now. Uh, just for example, the Coda over there, uh, that runs $600. Again, it's a little bit bigger. It's gas powered as well, just like the, the, the Solo stove. I don't know which one's better. I haven't cooked on this one yet. I do know I love the Coda and there's nothing wrong with it. Um, sticking my hand under here, I don't feel anything cold. I don't feel any coolness. Uh, it feels just fine. But I'm going to let this burn for another couple minutes and just see how hot it is so I can tell you if you need to put it on a something other than plastic or wood. Um, this table here, it's just a little old round table. That's what I usually do my uh, pizza making on. The Coda fits on there perfect. Uh, but yeah, this is a solo stove. Um, not hot up here. 
a little bit on the corners it's starting to get warm but the sides are all cool i'm not sure how cool they'll stay i'm guessing that part there will be hot but uh yeah this is it this is the solo stove pie first impressions are i like it it is a bit smaller than the coda uh than the uni oven um there's uh, other backyard pizza ovens uh gonzi makes uh the rock box and they have a, a dome that was about two thousand dollars that's a little higher end than these ones but uh it, 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 it's a great one that i've heard a friend of mine has the rock box he loves it he used to have a big brick pizza oven in his backyard that was awesome uh, but he had to move and hoas and stuff tell him he can't have that anymore but this is it this is the solo stove lights up quick again just turn the knob it clicks it lights just like almost any other gas grill so if you have any questions about the solo stove leave them below i'll put some links where you can go check it out you can uh buy one yourself um you've probably seen their backyard fire pits they have the stainless steel fire pits that are theoretically smokeless because the they have more airflow going through them they have the uh like the convection um vents that draw air so you don't get the same smoke you do with other fire pits but um they just came out with a pizza oven recently uh, i'm excited to cook on it again a couple days I'll, I'll cook I'll, I'll i'll try to film that I might do a blog post on it instead of, of filming it, uh, but it looks like a pizza oven. It's gonna get hot. Let me see if the uh, we can get a reading on the infrared. So yeah, it's already at a 390, 385. Towards the back there, it's getting over 400. Uh, towards the front here, still, yeah, 350 or so. So it's, it's getting warm already. Uh, beyond pizzas you can do flatbreads you can do um, things like that I've done steaks in my uni before I'm assuming you can do them here just get a cast iron pan and slide it in um, I, I want to try chicken wings uh, that'll be fun um, the opening on here is kind of nice because it seems like it's it's a little bit wider than than most other ovens most other pizza ovens I've seen so you can get in there you can get the turning feel in there get a good get a good let me get the camera going. Yeah, you can get the turning peel in there, get a good turn. When I launch pizzas, I like using a bamboo peel. I don't like using metal peels for launching them. I use this to retrieve them to get them out. But yeah, that's right in there. Not a lot of wiggle room. So you can't make your pizza much bigger than, than this peel. Um, but again, if you're cooking pizzas like this, you're gonna be cooking multiple pizzas. It's not like you're just cooking one pizza for your family. You're gonna be cooking uh, probably this size, one per person would be about what I'd shoot for. If you have little kids, maybe you can get two kids out of one. But solo stove pie. Let me know if you have any questions. If there's anything, any information you need from me about it, I'd be happy to answer anything I know. Again, I haven't used it, but uh, the looks of it, I like it. It looks good. So, and obviously when you get yours, it won't come with all that stuff on the uh, on the uh, stone. It'll come nice and clean. This is a used item. They sent me to try it out. So I'm going to test it and let them know what I think and, and all that. So thanks for watching.